There are a couple of ways you can create page headers in Astra Pro. Uh, one method using the built-in customizer, but there's another method you can use um, using some dynamic content, which gives you a bit more control and is a little bit more fun, I suppose. So we'll have a look, quick look at those today. Um, and you've got two options in up your sleeve you can use. So what we'll be working with today is an extremely basic uh, WordPress install that I've got up on screen at the moment. So I've created four pages here with not very much on them at all. Um, and if we jump into the back end, I'm running the Astra Pro theme. Where's plugins? There it is. Uh, and I've got uh, Astra Pros turned on there and I've got Spectra and Spectra Pro enabled as well. Um, as you can see, I've got some other plugins there, but not turned on. So we are really starting with the basics here. So your homepage will generally be treated a little bit differently, but let's look at the services page to start off with. So what I'm gonna do initially is add a featured image here. Here's some I prepared earlier, that one will do. And if I save that and view that, uh, it does that, which is okay, but that's not really what we want for our header. So if I was to go in here to the customizer and go to page and page title, I can control this a little bit here. So if I was to change it to layout two, for example, it's starting to do that. Uh, let's set the featured image as um, background. That's the trigger I'm looking for. And all of a sudden, our header is starting to look like that. If I was to publish that and close that off, our headers are now all looking like that. There's no featured image on that page. There's no featured image on that page and there's no featured image on that page either. But there is on the services page, and so I get that. Now, that's okay, but as you can see, it gives me the same thing on the home page. and if I haven't got a featured image, it doesn't really put anything there in its place. It's all right, but it has its limitations. So I'm gonna come back to page, uh, and I'm going to just turn the featured off for a minute, and if I come back here, I'm gonna turn page title off altogether and publish that. So where that leaves us is whichever page I look at, I've now lost my page header altogether, which is not what we want, but that's where we start playing with some dynamic content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in here and under my Astra settings, uh, because I'm running Pro here, I'm going to enable uh, Site Layout, Site Builder. Rats, I should have looked at this before I started the video. It's one of these. Uh, site Builder is the one I want because I turned on over the side here, Site Builder. So that's the one we want to have turned on. Now, you probably have other things turned on here as well, probably all of them, but Site Builder is definitely the one we want here at the moment. So if I'm coming, I'm gonna come back here now. Now, header is the obvious one to choose, but what this does is this will overtake your whole header section uh, your logo, your navigation, the whole lot, which means you've got to do a bit more work um, making it behave on mobile and, and stuff. So I tend not to go that way. What I'll create though is uh, one based on hooks. So I'm gonna call this page header. Uh, and uh, then I'll choose the Astra option here. And I'll tend to put this after header as my placement. Um, display and user conditions, display on um, entire website, do not display on front page. Because generally speaking with your home page, you'll do something a bit different. It'll be taller, it might have something a bit more going on, but internal pages will typically have the same basic layout for your header. So that's the way to make that happen. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start off by putting a container in. Uh, you can go forward slash and start typing if you know the block you're looking for, or you've got this guy up here, but I'm gonna grab a Spectra container and I'm gonna put that in. And I'm gonna grab a, um, a heading. No, I'm not actually, I've made that mistake before. I'm not adding a heading here. I'm adding the post title. So what it's done here is basically reproduce page header there. I'm gonna make this a heading one and I would probably wanna center it. Whoops, I would probably wanna center it. And then if I come back here to the container uh, and back to my settings here, this is where if I choose a background image, I've got this little guy down here, little sort of database symbol. That's where I'm gonna load up my um, dynamic content. 
So from the current post, you've got some other options there, but current post, I want to use the featured image, image size full, um, but it also gives me option of a fallback image as well. So if you've got, if you don't have a featured image on every page or every post, you can fall back to something else besides just the gray. Um, so I'm going to use that as my fallback, just to be a bit different. Um, I can update some positioning and whatnot as per, per normal, but I'm going to come back to that a bit later. I'm just going to click apply on that now. You can see that's loaded up. I'm going to come back down here to spacing, unlink that so I can make the top um, 100 and the bottom 100. That might be a bit tall, but that'll do for now. And I'm going to come back up here to color and I'm going to change my text color here to, to that. Uh, now, once you come in and you actually via the customizer add your own global colors, you probably want to tinker with this a little bit, but that's where I'm going at the moment. Um, and that'll probably do me to start off with. I'm going to publish that. Now, I don't really want to view layer here. What I want to do is have a look at it in the context of the whole site. So I'm going to come back here. You notice the home page hasn't changed, but if I come to services, uh, look, there's my header with the featured image that I set for that page. And about us, where I didn't have a featured image, it's loaded that for me. Same with contact us. So because we're using a Spectra container here, if I come back here to Site Builder, and there's my page header, I'm going to edit that. Because we're using a Spectra container here, we have access to all of these other blocks that you might want to use, which gives you a lot more flexibility than just the, the standard page header controls that we looked at via the customizer first up. So one example might be if I come down here and I've got another bit of paragraph text there, I don't know what that might be at the moment, but what I can do is come down and under advanced, start controlling whether desktop users see this, tablet, tablet users see this, whether it's only displayed on mobile, uh, other conditions based upon whether they're logged in or not logged in or other bits and pieces as well. So you can see there that I've then got a lot of control over how to control that page header based upon other different conditions as well. Now, I've just done the page header. You can also do a very similar thing with the page footer. A global footer that uh, can include some dynamic content, some dynamic, you know, some featured images or other bits and pieces based upon that post. And you can control that in terms of desktop, mobile, tablet view as well. Similar principle, just using a different hook down the bottom of the page. How about I show you that one? So I'm going to create this one from hooks. Here's my footer. Uh, let's go for a couple of columns there. So you might put some you know, social media links and some contact details and whatever else you're going to put down here. But if I come back to my container there, Similar thing, I'm going to choose the featured, him here, featured image here again, have uh, the same fallback image. You probably wouldn't have the same image in header and footer, but you know, just for the sake of the demonstration. Um, come back here, this is going to go um, before footer, I think I put this, displaying user conditions. This will go on the entire website, and I don't need to add any exceptions this play, this, at this stage because the homepage still gets it. Publish this, come back to the layout, and there is my footer. So what I would then need to come in to do is come back to the, what I would need to come in to do, I'm sure there's some English in there somewhere. I'm gonna come back to the footer builder and just get rid of anything there that's in the footer builder, publish that. And then we've got our custom footer there. And again, you can adjust the height and put different bits and pieces in uh, the columns I've created there as well. That's enough for today. Custom header, custom footer, both pulling, using, both pulling in some dynamic content. Uh, if you found this useful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're that way inclined. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.